Good morning, children. Today uh, I'm going to start with your new new lesson. That is lesson number two of your reader book, and the title of the lesson is Try, Try, Try Again. Now, before we move on to the story, children, the story is about a brave king who was once very, very wise, intellectual, courageous, but then uh, the circumstances came in into his life, and he loses all his hopes. And then, how the story moves? Let's understand it by reading it and enjoying the story. Now, the story is try, try, try again. Let's hear me out, children. Once upon a time, there lived a king in Scotland whose name was Robert Bruce. So children there was a country uh, still that there is a country Scotland but that point of time when uh, we are talking about long back this country Scotland was a very small country it was a neighboring country to England and it had very few men uh, in his army and the king of the Scotland was Robert Bruce now the king was very brave and wise he was never scared of anything very courageous king but the bigger country England the king of England was very cunning he had an eye on this nation he thought that let let me make scotland a part of england so the king of england since he wanted to make scotland a part of england he led a large army into scotland the king of england thought that you know scotland such a small nation with such few men so i can make it easily a part of my country and my country will become more stronger so what he did was he led a large army to fight with them into scotland though the scottish army was small king bruce bravely fought the english six times so children here you can see the army of scotland was very small the king had very few men but since he was very brave they fought with the english six times but he was defeated each time in spite of fighting so uh, with so many courage with so much courage and with few men only in hand but still uh, you know he was defeated each time finally he had to run away the king had to run away to save his life to a forest where he hid himself in a cave now children as i'm sure you must be aware that in a forest there are a lot of caves so now king has to save his life from his enemy the king of england so he hide himself in a nearby cave king bruce was tired and sick of fighting he fought with english six times so he was left with no energy now he was tired and he made up his mind that now i will not fight he had given up all the hope he has become so negative in his life that he thought there is no use trying anymore he was talking to himself and thinking uh, and uh, he the thought came into his mind that now enough is enough i will not fight now i will not even try anymore as he lay thinking he was in the cave now he was lying there he saw a spider he saw that there was a spider in the cave and the spider being so small it was trying hard to reach the roof of the cave the spider uh, failed again and again and king bruce was observing the spider but each time it fell it would try again it did not give up so children you can see spider being so so small he had no help there but at last after trying again and again and harder and harder at last it reached the roof of the cave so you can see the spider had a mission he had a aim in his mind that it had to reach the roof of the cave king bruce was observing him and king bruce was surprised happy and out of excitement and happiness he cried wow king bruce was like amazed he sounded like wow if a little spider it does not give up i too can try now king was just the lot of thoughts was coming in his mind and he was like such a little spider he tried so much and he reached the roof so why can't i try i should also try once more i will fight with the englishmen the war again and this time i will i will win so look at the confidence king bruce 
he had got from that little spider. He came out of the cave. He gathered his army. He told all his men, come on, get ready and march to the battlefield. And he, they all marched to the battlefield. Again, let me remind you, the king who had lost all his hopes. Now here, he is again going for a war with England, a very strong country with a very sm few men in his army. But he had a confidence and he has become all the positive now after observing the spider. This time he fought with a new courage and he won. A little spider had taught him a lesson. Try, try, try again and you will surely win. So children, this story is telling us that we should never leave hope. You know, there, there must be many situations in the life where you will feel hopeless, where you will feel I'm trying so hard, but nothing I'm getting in result. But then you should try more harder. So the moral of the story is we should never give up till the time we achieve our goals. You know, if you will keep sitting and thinking that I will come first in the class or I will win that race or I will, you know, win this, uh, that competition without trying, without putting your efforts, you will never be able to achieve it, children. So the story is teaching us all that we should always uh, give up. We should never give up and we should always try harder in difficult situations till the time we come out as a winner. I hope you all enjoyed the story. And now please uh, sit down, relax and read the story two times and understand it more better. Thank you children. Have a good day.